Alright, so we got the aircraft selected. Ooh, I'm Fly. gonna go into the weight and balance and just max my fuel out. I'll do that when I get into the sim. And uh, I'm not gonna take any passengers with me on this one. <laughs> Okay. 5:10 a.m. I am loading now. What's up guys? Death Donkey or Ronnie back with another Death Donkey's Game Nation video and last week a few people mentioned putting a full flight. So a full flight is what you got. Starting just outside of Tokyo in the Diamond DA-40, me and Nick Fly X join forces in a GA sightseeing excursion to a place we've both always wanted to visit. I also tried to find Sakuba Raceway, but the weather sort of prevented that, as you'll see, and we ultimately just circled back to Tokyo to land. This is an unedited loading time, FYI, and from an SSD. I'll chime in from time to time throughout this video, but this is mostly talk between Nick and myself. I hope you guys enjoy. There we go. Now we're in the smuck. Oh, it's the flashlight button. <laughs> Are you at 5, 10 a.m.? Yeah, I'm at 5 a.m. Oh, increase it 10 more minutes and you won't need the flashlight. Oh, cool. Alright, how do All right, I work this thing? Yeah, how do you start this one? Master Avionics. Backup battery. Give it a bit of fuel pump. Be nice if I turn the fuel on. Avionics are on. Okay. Oh, I never even turned on my lights, but that's all right. All right, starts. No, I'm not doing something right. You got your fuel tank selector selected? Yeah, it's on a... Oh no, he was on off. That'll do it. That'll do it. I hear you running now. Are you, now are you socked in with fog? Oh yes. Now we're in the same... Yes. I don't know what that was all about in the last recording, but that was a little upsetting. Now that we're in the smuck of it. There's a choke lever in this plane. Alright, I'm going to taxi to my left. Where's the parking brake in this plane? Is that it? No. This is the, yeah, like I said, the hardest part, finding where the damn parking brake is. That, there it was. Okay. Oh, that's you. <laughs> I might hit a fuel truck. You're gonna hit a truck. You just went right through a truck. There was no truck. Oh. Different for every person. Taxiing up a hill is quite interesting. Yeah. Taxiing down a hill is also interesting. <laughs> Alright, lights are on. I 
should get mine on. Go. You just that dissolved on me. It's the two. It's the two lights. Where'd you go? I'm like right on your left. I think I am gonna take off with flaps. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Right behind you. Oh, it's twitchy. Twitchy. The rudder is twitchy. Here we go. Oh, this thing is performance. Yeah, it does. Damn. I like it. <laughs> around the world in this plane. Hundred eighty degree climbing left turn. Till we get up above this cloud layer, cause holy shit. I know. Valley on my KFD will level off right about here. I'm coming out of it about 3,200 feet. Cool. Oh, I see it. it starts to glow orange, and yeah, we're out of it. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so we'll level off about. I don't know, you want to go up to four? Sure, four it is. I see you down there. This thing does not have autopilot, so manual the whole way. Do you have your fuel pump on? No. Okay. Got retractable landing gear? Holy yes, shit! It does. <laughs> That's funny. That's real funny. I uh, just got you in the background with Mount Fuji. Oh. Oh, that's Mount Fuji, huh? Okay, yeah. my bad. Shit. That looks like about zero six five degree heading is the heading we need to be at. I'm trying to catch up to you here. You're going faster. Yeah, I'm bringing my power back. This thing's prop spins fast because I'm at like 5,700 RPM. Yeah, and I, there's like no way for... Oh, there is a propeller lever. There is? I just have throttle and trim. I'm pulling something back with my throt or my lever. Hmm. There's a little propeller display right to the top right of the uh, of the um, fuel controller. There's a little teeny tiny electrical turn knob that you turn. Never seen that before. Same. I'm getting, I think I can't tell if that's turbulence or just your wake that I'm in. I'm in turbulence too, so. Okay. fly around this high terrain here to the right. It's going to put us a little bit off course, but it's going to give us the most to look at. 
There's a little town right. off to our right. Okay. Below the wing. Right through the break in the clouds. Yeah. Sure, where my fuel gauges are on this thing. That's a good question. Find me just looking for my fuel. <laughs> this plane feels sporty, like I feel like I could do a roll on it nice and easy. Fuck it. Hold on a second. <laughs> All right, do a fucking barrel roll. Okay, hold on. Get in front of you so you can see this. Oh, I'm on external view. I've got you locked. Okay. Just gonna get it some speed. Do it right in the sunrise. No, no, fuck. <laughs> he said, no, no, fuck. <laughs> I did that wrong. You all right down there? Oh, good. Okay. We made it around. I fuck, I had no idea this thing had retractable landing gear. What in the hell kind of shit are they doing to me? I'm going to try that again. I'm just going to get further in front and uh, pitch up. I'd just like to point out the beauty of that town below us right now. Yeah. yeah. This isn't quite Tokyo yet, but damn, that's good. Nick catching back up to us. I'm gonna try take two. You ready? Yep. Much better. Yeah. Just don't hit the mountain on your way out. Yeah. All right, Tokyo's right up there where the clouds are clearing up. Yeah. Let me um get some cinematics for this video real quick. Press whatever your autopilot button is, and autopilot comes on. I don't know where the fuck the button's at, but it's got it somewhere. <laughs> or it's just something fake to help me do stuff like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. I turn off autopilot. I don't want you to All right. Right where you're at. Alright.
That's cool as shit. I don't care who you are. It's a uh, much easier sim to find information with than P30 or FSX ever worked. Like this is so simply so easy. I don't know if it's just my abilities are getting better or if it's the sim, but it's easier. Also, probably has a lot to do with our connection. I'm on Wi Fi. Well, just like the way we're connected with each other. Oh, yeah. Is. If I bump my throttles again, I swear. Get some close ups of the airplane. Oh yeah, stay right where you're at. in altitude about 20 feet and then hold it there I'm going to get us a nice static shot if you just following right there oh yeah beautiful Alright Nick, you're free to move about the cabin however you see fit. I'll call you back into a formation when I'm ready to uh, do this. Actually what we really need to do is make a, a nice solid left hand turn. Like 90 degree left hand turn and follow this river, this main river that's right below us. Alright. The fact that we could just fucking do that on this simulator gets my rocks going. Gets my rocks off I think is how that expression really goes. Scratches on the windows and the right sunlight is. Stinks. I know, right? It's it amazing. just makes that scene right there. The fact that we know I'm looking through a window. There's that same airport just off to our right. Do what? Here's the airport we landed at before, just off to our right. Oh, yeah. Get the... Get the... Get the brake right in front of you in there. Your plane is reflecting on my wing. It's amazing. That's awesome. It's kind of a uh, longer GA flight. I'm glad you joined me. It's fun. I haven't actually done much seriousness in this. I've flown through the hurricane earlier this week. That was a fun one to do. I didn't fly through the hurricane, but the videos that I posted, a lot of people wanted to see a full flight, so yeah, figured 
what better flight to show than That's why I was going so much faster. I uh, accidentally bumped my throttles up one more. I was wondering. Pressure. I was like, I'm at like full power with max prop, and I was like, I can barely keep up. The fact that I feel like I've now visited. Tokyo, because I think this is the outskirts of Tokyo right now. Yeah, we're getting close. Because the airport's like off to our right. And we're going to fly past the airport. Probably won't see it at first. To get into, like, I guess what would be downtown Tokyo? Like, the main part of Tokyo? Yeah, I think off to our, like, 2 one thirty is Haneda. Just on the coast. Yeah. It is, because my white line leads there. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go a little north, kind of towards these clouds. Unfortunately. Hope hopefully they're broken. And we don't have to fly underneath of them, but we'll cross that road when it gets there. Luckily, us digital pilots were instrument certified. Yeah. Do some cloud surfing as well. Which is always fun. Oh, yes. I can see some uh, approach lights flashing off my left wing just underneath the cloud layer. Aside from being roughly near Tokyo and in Japan, I have no fucking clue otherwise where I'm yeah. at. This is, a, this is a part of the world that I have on my bucket list to visit, Tokyo. I or always get scared. The rest of the world views us Americans as idiots, and most of them are not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but. Doing this kind of GA flying really makes me want to take one of these planes around the world. <laughs> many hops. Many, many hops later. Yeah. I think if I was going to do it, I'd do it in the TBM and it'd be around maybe 20, 25 legs. It also depends on the routing I go. I was even, I was thinking, of course, starting hometown but also possibly going down through Antarctica. I just can't get over, like, the scenery. as though the clouds you're seeing on your screen are pretty synced with the clouds I'm seeing on my screen also. Exactly. Yep. So there's a nice see, puffy I plume to your left. Yep. And then there's a small single just to the right with more in the distance. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> Interesting. And just off to our right there's a group of four with a fifth in the distance. It 
it's I think this the clouds and real world weather are matched up pretty well. How are you gonna have a fucking airplane without fuel gauges? They gotta be somewhere in this plane. trying to look at Tokyo scenery and still thinking about this fucking fuel gauge, Nick. Spoiler alert, we never find that damn fuel gauge. Might not be able to see the racetrack once we get up here. I have to go uh, do some submarine flying below the clouds. Yeah, we may may very well have to find a hole in the clouds and poke through them. If we want to get down, we might want to get down now. Shit, there's more big ass buildings off to our right. Yeah. Risk it and pray to God they're broken, Nick. I see a gap on the other side of this. These clouds right in front of us. Yeah, they, the path I'm following, they seem to be kind of broken up here. Um, I think 
I'm just gonna try to stay above them where we're at. All right. About the what? Three thousand mark. Yeah. Stay about here. They do seem to get thicker off in the distance, though. So before too long, we may actually end up dropping below them. Having, a fucking, having an emergency over Tokyo would be a really shitty day. <laughs> yeah, there's not many places besides this river right here to land. Yeah. It's like little rivers. Streams, if you will, that be about the only place you could land. Yeah. Jason, keep... Okay, you're actually completely dissolved now. Where did you go? There you are. Yeah, right now might be a good time to get below these clouds because I don't think there'll be openings on the other side of these. Yeah, I'm bringing the power back. Props going up to full again. Yeah, I've got satellite imagery pulled up on my cell phone, and I pulled the latitude and longitude of the racetrack and actually dropped a point in the simulator, so on my end, my GPS should take us right to the racetrack. Sweet. Yeah, these clouds may very well go to the surface. It might be instrument rated. I'm at 1,500 feet and dropping. Sorry, I'm at 1,200 feet and dropping. Yeah, I'm still off your wing. My GPS is now yelling at me to pull up. I'm fucking scud running Tokyo right now, no big deal. My RPM back to 5,000. If you've enjoyed the video so far, please consider liking and subscribing to support me the most. Ring that bell to be notified of my next video so you don't miss another one. Don't worry, it's not over yet. We still do some cloud surfing and wrap it up with a full stop landing, so stay tuned. I'm fairly confident I'm breaking rules, regulations. Oh, we definitely are. A thousand feet above, at least for US regs, if we a thousand feet above popular areas, we are most definitely not a thousand feet. It's like 300 feet. Yep. It's like a layer of smog over the city here. My phone is going ape shit. My watch is going nuts. Alright, now we're getting into country territory. Which is exactly where we want to be. Almost there, Nick. Sweet. I'm starting to 
think this plane just doesn't have a fuel gauge. I I cannot find it. I mean, legitimately. Those low fuel lights. Yes, right now I am still searching for that fuel gauge. And it, it's literally nowhere. Like, there is not a fuel gauge in this fucker. Is that in this airplane? Please tell me in the comments section. Coming up on Sakuba here. I'd like to point out here that the location I placed the custom point at was within about half a degree either way. So I knew once we got here that I'd have a little bit of searching to do. The cloud layer being so low and kind of so dense made this a little more challenging than I anticipated and the flight was already pushing some time constraints so here in a bit you'll see I decided to just get these airplanes back to the airport to keep things as timely as possible. This is the F1 track? No. No. Which, uh, what kind of races is done here? Oh, they just do all kinds of different races here. It's not a Grand Prix circuit. Okay. It's just one of my more favorite courses around the world. Second to uh, my favorite course being Laguna Seca, actually in California. So. Ooh, nice. At least you didn't say the Nurburgring. The Nurburgring is not my favorite track. I do like that track for different reasons, but the uh, cloud layer is making this probably a bit more challenging than it really needs to be. How far does the GPS say we are from it? On top of it. come back here tonight when this weather clears up a little bit for now let's just take these beasts back home back to Tokyo you know what I'm saying all right I'll uh, study some satellite maps a little better tank switch
Nick, I'm gonna power up and get us above these clouds. It's broken here, seems like the best idea. Not, not too much on the pitch degree, that way we maintain some of our forward speed still. This really is a fun airplane to fly, I won't lie. It is. Cloud surf. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. I guess this plane is touch screen. As yeah. Well, when I'm looking at it. Yeah. cloud, I guess. That's a pretty tall cloud in front of me. We're going to fly around. <laughs> Approaching 4,000 feet again. Clouds change shape and shit. Really good. We're flying around Tokyo right now as if we're in Tokyo. Look at that. Looks like I'm watching a movie right now that I'm controlling with Nick Flight X down there. <laughs> I'm having a hard time keeping up with you. I don't know why. I got 22 inches on the manifold pressure, 5300 RPM on the prop. What's your speed? Hundred and oh, 
108? That's what I'm doing, and I have 25 inches and 5,800. It's my gear down, or flaps down. No, flaps are up, gear's up. Make a left hand turn, fly towards the coast where the clouds seem to be breaking up. I'm gonna start to descend here, so I'm gonna bring my power back. You don't bring your power back yet until you yeah, catch yeah. up. And I'll go a little more conservative on the uh, engine power when I drop back now. I'll probably go down to like 2,000 feet. Somebody had a sneezing fit. Yeah, that's my mother. They are straight up not having a good time. <laughs> she gets those fits every once in a while. We have it too close. What runway do we need here in Tokyo? Uh, there's three. There's two parallel. Actually, there's four, I think. There's two parallel, two crosswinds. I don't know what the winds are. Should be able to use this fancy ATC menu. Nearest airport. I need an option to turn off this fading, this dissolving plane thing, because I can get so much closer with this formation. Tokyo Airport information, Mike 21000, Zulu, wind 027 at 5, visibility 4, sky condition, view clouds at 1000 feet, view clouds at 4100 feet. Holy shit, two nine or seven niners a barometer. Departing runway one six left and runway one six right. BFR aircraft, say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact. You have Mike. Information Mike. Zero two seven and five visibility four. Few clouds at one thousand feet. Few clouds at forty one hundred feet. Few clouds at twelve thousand four hundred feet. Plus one six left and one six right. So we're actually going to be making a straight in. We need to go right. Okay. Tokyo Tower. Tokyo Tower JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X Ray Go Sierra is one six miles northeast with November touch and go. Whoa, touch and go. JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Tokyo Tower. While in base runway one six. Tokyo Tower JMB Aircraft five two in Dunfer Avenue. Make left base runway one six left. JMB Aviation X Ray Golf Sierra ten o'clock. That's pretty wavy. Yeah, it is. Wonder if that's racetrack or like horse racing. If they even have that in Japan. I'm not sure. 
They got me coming one six left, default ATC does. Alright. Bring it in. like a couple hundred miles and an hour's flight time is exactly I can see why they do that dissolving thing because if you were flying right inside of me like that yeah. clipping could cause it to for me to not see my instruments and shit yeah and I, I agree that's a good thing for but I wish it was just an option that people could turn on and off alright like airport's those, right there to our left for normal flying I'd probably have it on but for like if I want information then I'm definitely yeah like if we're just specifically so. flying with a bunch of friends yeah Welcome back, Greg. I'm um, recording right now, so get ready to land, and uh, then I'll be done recording. Oh, just getting some popping lag. Hold on. As long as you uh, don't mind possibly being on a video. He's muted this 
like I'm getting some serious popping like I am not I did in San Diego if you want to go do some shenanigans near San Diego that was the last area I had problems in I actually well I gotta <clears throat> well, I'm watching something in about half an hour so as we see then I gotta get ready for that there's part of a virtual music group and our show is performing or pre premiering in half an hour online oh nice I was given clearance to land. That'd be nice. Alright, that looks like the runway threshold lights right there. I do not believe this airport has been doctored either. It's not handcrafted. Holy shit, Nick! I literally just watched your gear animate down. That was one of the coolest things ever. Alright, if we're gonna land side by side, you land on the left of the runway. Left of center line, I land right of center line. Deal? Take your silence as a yes. <clears throat> Shit, I forgot. My mic is muted. Uh, yeah, I kept trying to slow down, but you were still slowing down faster than me, which is why you got ahead, or I got ahead. But yes, I'll be on the left. Alright, I'm just getting on glide slope right now. Watch me touch down just before you, and it'll say, go around, or something like that. Cannot comply. Yeah. It's a 747 on the ground here. I'm a little below the glide slope, but you know what? Uh, we're not up. carrying passengers or nothing. Yeah. This plane will fly is pretty slow as well. It's hard not... Yeah, I'm doing like 45 knots. It's hard not to uh, want to track centerline inadvertently, though. Yeah. Just aim for the right-hand uh, touchdown zone marker. That's what I'm doing. Love the ground effect of these low wing airplanes. Probably gonna get down here and float a little bit. Oh yeah. Nicely done. There it is. There it is. How far up is this taxiway? Uh, there's one. We, there's a. 
there's a, a nice harsh like 130 degree turn off right here all right are you still next to me on my left i'm gonna come to the left a little bit gotta swing it to the left a little bit i right, come behind you Give me a break, guy. One two two decimal zero seven five JMB Aviation X Ray Golf Sierra. You know where GA parking's at in this fucking hellhole? No idea. Well, shit. <laughs> I'll title the video "Lost It Tokyo." All right. Fuck it. I'm gonna go to the right because this is clearly. Not it to our left. Well, there's actually straight ahead. There's another GA plane on the ramp. We'll go there. Yeah, it's probably an FBO. I don't know if NATO has an FBO. to this building. Let's park over here. That way we don't have to walk as far back to our airplanes. Mm, there's another plane in that parking spot for me. Seriously? Yeah. Blank as fuck for me, dog! That's interesting. I inadvertently found the uh, parking brake switch while I was uh, flying also, so there's that. That was ultra satisfying. Thank you for watching. This was Death Donkey from DDGN or Death Donkey's Game Nation with Nick Flight X. If you like the flight, please like and sub to support me the most. Want to see more without missing them? Ring that bell to be notified of my next video. I'm thinking of doing a giveaway, something like if I get to a thousand subs before the 18th, I'll pick one lucky winner and buy them a base copy of this Microsoft Flight Simulator. It was a thought I tossed around today in my head, so if you think I should, hit that sub button and fill my email tonight with sub notifications and I'll post a video tomorrow detailing this giveaway. Don't forget about my Chat Nation Discord. Come join me and other like-minded people using the link in the description. Again, thanks for watching, and as always, until next time.